Once again, they were relying on starman Igor Janowski for goals tonight. Rangers, meanwhile, made two changes from a fortnight ago. McInnes and Van Vossen replacing Ferguson and Jury. So Alania start the match in front of a big crowd here. Not quite a full house, but uh, a passionate crowd nonetheless. And they've made three changes from the first leg. They've brought back uh, goalkeeper Kapov. Uh, Timofayev has come back into the side. He was suspended, played against Liverpool last year. And up front, uh, Kanishev, a dangerous player who also played in the matches against Liverpool. Well, Rangers have now played more than 170 ties in Europe. An experienced copy of an early chance for Ali McCoy. It's the perfect start. The perfect start. Just 36 seconds gone. And a quite sensational start by Rangers. Well, that certainly cancels out Delania's goal from Ibrooks in the first leg. What a fantastic start. But I think we could see a high-scoring game here tonight. And there's a deflection in that one and well taken by Andy Gorham. Again, the cover's there for Rangers. This is Revisvili. Taking on Albert. Good play this time. Revisvili getting away from Goff. There was first a real chance on here. Rangers defence all over the place. And what a let off. And there were several chances, but Andy got him. And his defenders managed to scramble it away. Here's Stuart McCall. Just looking for another one here. It's Albert. Getting it a good cross. And it's an all one. And it's McCoyst again. This is a fantastic performance from Ali McCoyst and from Rangers. 2-0 in the night. 5-1 in aggregate. And terrific finishing by Ali McCoyst. Well, Charlie, he took a bit of a stick in the first leg. He missed a few. He still scored. <laughs> And he's certainly, as always, on fire tonight. You, nev you never write this guy off. Even if he misses four or five, you know he's going to get chances. He simply pulled a yard to the back post and buried it with a great header. He missed two headers in the first leg. But two, two sensational headers to start this game. Tremendous finishing. So the crowd, as you can imagine, have gone quiet. There certainly wasn't in the strip for them. And there's a great supply there. Janowski, who scored... In the first leg, sending a quite brilliant shot beyond Andy Gorham. This is Kanishev, so the man up in the middle. Well, I can only apologise to you if you're receiving any replays uh, over our pictures. We're not getting them, but here's another chance on for Rangers. The hat trick for McCoy's. He's done it again. It's incredible. 17 minutes gone. A hat-trick for Ali McCoy. And remember, these are the Russian champions. Yeah, and it's... The big problem for the Russians has been defending. We knew that from the start. And Van Bossen, really unselfish there. I mean, he could easily have put it in the back of the net himself. And like Ali just suffered with two goals at the moment. So he decided to push it into his path. And surely you would think now that must be killed off. I mean, three goals away from home against any champions is tremendous goal scoring. But uh, tremendous stuff. To try to that. Albert gets in well. Bjorklund clears. This is Goff. Put by Suleimanov. This is Kanishev. Good effort by him and a good save by Andy Gorham. Revisvili again, showing a fair turn of pace. Penalty is awarded. Well, Revisvili, who has been causing Albert problems when he's been attacking him down that side. And the referee pointed to the spot. He missed one in the first leg. But not this time. That's 23 minutes gone here. It's 3-2 to Rangers on the night. The fire just keeps the ball in play. Off by Kenishev, but uh, a poor one straight to McInnes. Now it's Goff. Van Vossen's a bit of space ahead of him. Loudrup's there also. It's McCall. Loudrup. Looks through by McInnes. Good build up by Rangers. Chance on for Van Vossen. Go, it's Van Vossen. 
It's an all for Rangers. Brilliant play by Stuart McCall in the build-up to that goal. And this remarkable evening con continues. Peter Van Vossen gets another one for Rangers. It's 4-2 to the Ibrook side on the night. What a first half this has been. 39 minutes gone. Van Vossen for Rangers. The decision goes Alania's way. It's a couple of players on the ground on the far side. The whistle sounds. Well, a remarkable first half, Charlie Nicholas. Yep. Tremendous performance by Rangers. Obviously scoring four goals, which was, wouldn't have thought possible before the, the kickoff. But tremendous. They have been a little bit shaky at the back at times. But four goals says it all. Tremendous first half performance. McInnes who launches it forward. Goff's up there. Here's McCoyce again. Kalani is still putting a lot of effort into the game. Plays for another penalty. Sulemanov went down there, made a bit of a meal of that as so he was challenged by Petric. Well, we've already had a penalty, but not on that occasion. Here's Wildrop, a chance for another one. Still it's Wildrop, McCoyce there waiting for the tap in. He doesn't need him though. It's another one for Rangers. Loudrop makes it 5-2 on the night. And 8-3 on aggregate. Well, this is coming out to one of the most remarkable nights involving Rangers for a long time as they celebrate the goal. There is some bad news though that uh, Richard Goff is one thing off, but great skills there by Loudrop. He had McCoy if he needed him. He didn't, and he just lashed the ball high into the net. It's 5-2 to Rangers. On the night. There's no flag. And it's uh, Jotland who blocked that one. Now it's McCall. A switch of play by Alberts. This is Cleland. Van Vossen. He needs some help here. Maybe not. Good play by Van Vossen. A good saving challenge by Konienko. Again, it breaks down for Alania. Loudrup trying to turn on the style, but uh, Sulemanov sticks in a foot. And the break's on here, it's Sulemanov again. Rangers caught there. And there's another chance on for Alania, but uh, Andy got him. And the end takes it comfortably. And uh, place at Europe's top table beckons again. Let's hope they can make a better job of the situation this time. There's McCoyst again, looking for number four. Again, it's McCall. Through for Loudrup. Loudrup again. Nice touch by him. Maybe number four for Ali McCoyst. Good save by the goalkeeper. Behind for the corner kick. McCall, McCoyst, McCall again. Nice touch by Loudrup. McKinnis providing a decent cross. It breaks out to Alberts. The left foot shot could be on here. Well, Goff was well forward. Rangers still looking for more goals. They have this tie in their pocket, but uh, still to come forward. And well, that's a fine effort by Charlie Miller. He threads it. He's uh, pushing forward in support. Sulemanov, good ball by him. Kanishev. And once again, Andy Gorham defies him. He's absolutely magnificent at that, Andy Gorham. Just spreads himself so well. He's one happy man. The smile of Ali McCoy. He's off to applause. It's a wave from the Rangers fans, although it's so delighted, and uh, sporting applause there too from the local fans. It's uh, Skis playing it forward. Now it's Loudrop. Jury through the middle, McCall's going on another run. It's Jury, McCall's still up there. Still it's Jury. So unlucky. 
Still Rangers have it. Great play by Lozop. It's a fabulous goal by Lozop. A terrific goal. 6-2 to Rangers on the night. A second for Lozop. But it's about a class finishing from Lodrop. Yeah, actually, he was a man who set up Jury for his first initial chance. Jury gives chase. It's a Rangers ball. Quickly taken through for Lodrop. This could be another one. He's got support from Charlie Miller. He leaves it on a plate. That's another one. It's 7-2. It's great, great ability again from Lodrop. So the referee, in fact, has won the final whistle. Charlie Nicholas, your overall thoughts? Well, it was an outstanding, absolutely outstanding performance. I'm still stunned by it myself, never mind Alania. It was just sheer quality.